Hi everyone, it's me again. I've been thinking a lot lately as I finish up a few paintings that uh, I've been long overdue in my studio. I've got a confession to make. I've been spending some time on YouTube, not just posting videos, although mostly short videos, but also learning from expert YouTubers about the do's and don'ts. I'll admit this. It has opened a whole new world of learning for me. I just keep Hearing people on these different channels give tips on how to gain favor with the algorithms. And I didn't even know you could get shadow banned on YouTube. <laughs> There's so many things I've been doing wrong and other things I did right without even knowing it. But let's face it, it's been more mistakes than anything else. One big mistake I made was opening a TikTok account. Boy, that didn't go well. It just proves that there's a different audience and a different attention span for each platform. One thing was to hear the term TikTokification of culture and, and the mindset, but another is to see it for myself. And I really do hope people wake up from that and throw those blue pills down the drain eventually. But I've noticed that my shorts are getting a lot more views than my super edited research long content. This made me a little upset, I'll admit it. Maybe I've been focusing too much on short time lapse videos, you know, me painting, but with a sped up process. And people have been expecting me to give them the fast and furious can version of my content. Maybe it's been my own doing. Perhaps I've been unknowingly participating in this TikTokification way of doing things. I, for one, don't appreciate distractions or being distracted and then feeling like I wasted my time on superfluous, completely forgettable content. I do not wish to take part in contributing to that either. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll keep adding short videos on YouTube as long as I find real educational value and some entertainment as well, but the good kind. It's just that I don't wish to abide by the algorithms or the people who only have a few seconds of their time before they swipe onto the next video. I want to provide real content, what I long for myself, real substance. That's why I'm focusing on my work, the work that you see right in front of me, the unvarnished truth, telling it as I see it and sharing my honest personal thoughts directly with you with fewer gimmicks, fewer effects and less editing. Anyway, I need to get back to my work, but just as a, a final thought, how do we wish to spend our precious time? That's a question I ask to you. Scrolling mindlessly through unmemorable, disposable content or engaging with the things that could inspire us to be better people, more creative. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you find value in seeing a video like this, Hit the like button and feel free to subscribe while, while you're at it. And thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.